Hey guys, so today we are doing our very first unboxing of a gaming chair that we plan on using in our finished uh, studio here. And uh, this is the Dowinx LS6689. You know, a lot of these things I've been selling online and I looked up from reviews, I didn't see too much on it. But I know that Amazon was out of, uh, out of chairs, so it took me about three weeks to get this in the mail. Uh, the reason we're doing this unboxing isn't because uh, we're an unboxing channel, but this is one of the chairs that we will be using most likely down the road for the rest of the studio, so we'll probably order a handful of these. So I figured, hey, give it a shot, and uh, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll do an unboxing, and then we will, at the end, I won't do the whole process of building it. You guys can obviously, um, pretty straightforward, you know, with the instructions and stuff, but at the end, we'll do a review, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so uh, here we go. Um, like I said, the big box, there's not a lot of room, but I'll kind of take the items out, uh, you know, show you guys the items, and then uh, at the end, we'll do a quick review. And uh, just so you guys know, this is a, never heard of this this uh, company before, but they, like I said, they have a 4.5 star rating. Uh, these chairs, I'm a bigger guy, I'm about 6'3", six, uh, six, 200 and, Oh, I don't know, it's 240 pounds, and this chair is rated for up to 350 pounds, so it's definitely uh, built for larger guys. The last chair I bought was set for about half my weight, so I ended up destroying it as well twice as fast. Um, so hopefully this chair, you know, holds well, and it's also got a custom uh, back massager in it. So that'll be pretty interesting. Um, so let's see. Wow. Yeah, quality's there. I mean, it looks exactly like what uh, the pictures look, you know. Sometimes it's kind of deceiving, but yeah, it's got this like kind of a dirty gray uh, leather. It's got a nice little pattern in the front. It's pretty awesome. Little instructions right here on how to fix it or uh, build it. We've got the I don't want to use the knife on these. I don't want to accidentally cut the leather. Uh, this is the back pillow. It's freaking awesome. Look at that. You got the little USB hookup for the back massager. So I'm looking forward to using this. Now the armrests. I've, from all the reviews I've seen, the only thing that I saw that was kind of a negative thing was a lot of these uh, people were having issues with the uh, left. I don't know why it's the left one specifically. Probably because people tend to put more weight on it. But the left... Um, armrest was kind of getting loose so they actually send extra hardware if we need it or they'll send it to you if there's any loosening but yeah this is I got long arms too so that definitely yeah, that's nice I like it you got the back pillow for your head downs this the quality is really good like I mean obviously I'm gonna have to sit on it, you know, this is gonna be hours and hours of sitting, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna keep its, uh, this is very, very fluffy, like I could definitely <laughs> get a uh, standard pillow for my bed for that. We've got the leg rest. Uh, I, from what I've seen, these kind of pop out. Uh, for bigger guys, I don't know why I have to test this out at the end, but uh, I have long legs, and this kind of only reaches so far, so we'll see kind of how that works out. And the main part, which is the butt cushion. Which, by the way, when you have a dad bod, you want to make sure you got that butt cushion. Because the last uh, chair, like I said, I, I bought, I didn't do my math. And I would sit there for hours editing or uh, gaming, streaming. And uh, I ended up kind of crushing the front part of the pillow and it kind of ended up sagging in so every time someone would sit on the chair it would slide you kind of just like literally slide off the chair um, definitely not good for your back so definitely this one looks obviously a little bit more heavy-duty like I said it's rated for 350 pounds and uh, 
yeah, I'm just like very impressed right now. The quality, and it's, you can seal it with quality, you know. And this is a, obviously, by the way, this is about 250. Uh, if you buy it on their, on Dowings.com, uh, on their website, or you can buy it on Amazon. Now, the only thing that I would say is that if you order from the website, don't expect to get it within a reasonable amount of time because it took me three weeks to get it. Now, I know there's other things going on in the world right now, so that's maybe what happened. But yeah, no, this is, wow, I can't wait to build this. The other armrest. And this is all the hardware. Here we go. That's the spring box for the chair. And be careful if you're using a knife. Yep, and that's all the the hardware. They got the wheels, the caps, you know, the, the uh, air pump for the chair. And yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, hopefully uh, this comes out nice, and I'll see you guys for the review at the end. guys so like I said I'm gonna do a quick review of the quality of the chair uh, the stability the comfort I said before I had a gaming chair before I didn't do the math I'm a big guy and I need a chair that can hold me for hours you know of editing and gaming as well so <laughs> uh, but yeah no it's super comfortable the quality is amazing and I mean I'm a big guy I'm six almost six three um, you can see spins awesome being a dad by like myself, you know, you gotta have that stability and uh, weight capacity. Yeah, it reclines. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Uh, usually I like playing upright, so I probably won't be reclined too much, but we got the, uh, the leg rest, which um, pretty standard. For me, I got long legs, so I would recommend again, like maybe they extend it or add um, maybe extension rods for it or something. Yeah, it's awesome. I love the quality. Definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys are interested in buying it. It's the Dowinks uh, gaming chair. And yeah, all right guys, see you guys for the next one.